Hey guys, what's going on? This is DCX Albrecht, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys a comparison between a 1060 and a 1070 Ti NVIDIA graphics card. The two coins I'm going to be showing you is uh, Ravencoin and Digibyte. Uh, the reason I'm choosing Ravencoin is because I feel that it's a hot coin right now on the markets. Um, even though it's not on a lot of exchanges, it's the algorithm behind it which makes it awesome. This is my son here. Say hi. Hi. So I went on Newegg and I purchased two of these EVGA Super Clock GeForce 1060 graphics cards. Uh, they're the six gigabyte model. I recommend getting the six gigabyte model because if you get the three gigabyte model and you want to mine Ethereum, you're going to have nothing but issues. So always get the six gig model. It's worth it in the long run. So once I set up both cards, got them in the rig and everything, fired them up, um, probably my issue that I had was Windows did not want to load nicely. And I don't know if it was because I had, you know, 10 graphics cards, um, 8 1070 Ti's, and then two 1060's. It took a while for the drivers or something to update. Now when I mined Ravencoin, I went ahead and downloaded the latest release of Z en Enemy Miner. It's version 1.09 alpha. Um, they might have the beta out or they might have the 1.10 out by the time you watch this, but this is the one I used in this video. You need to make sure you have the CUDA 9 uh, dev kit installed um, on your machine if you're running Windows. So once I got MSI Afterburner fired up, set my fan speeds at like 70%, I started hashing away. I let it hash for a couple hours. Um, the results were mm, not too bad. The 1060s didn't do as bad as what I thought they would, but they got between seven to eight mega hash uh, compared to the 1070 Ti's, which get 11 upwards to 13 or 14 mega hash if you check out here on the chart on ravenminer.com um, you can see i was getting between 110 and 115 mega hash and then when i installed the 1060s um, it bumped it up to 120 to 130 mega hash um, and this is a 24 hour chart mining digibyte went about the same we had about half the performance of the 1070 ti both were stock uh, where the 1070 ti got about an average of 600 mega hash the 1060 trailed along and got between 330 to 340 mega hash. Both cards were stock except for an 80% power limit and 70% fans and afterburner, which the fans don't matter. Now for Digibyte, I used the Alexa 78 Miner. Um, I believe it uses CUDA 7, so as long as you have just your normal NVIDIA drivers, this miner will work, and it's supposed to be the fastest miner for NVIDIA cards for Digibyte. I expected less and was surprised that the 1060 was at 55% of its big brother. One thing about the 1060 compared to the 1070 is it is a lot less power draw, but I don't think it's as efficient as the TI. The 1070 TI is just hands down the most efficient card right now. Um, if you get the 1080 or the 1080 Ti, you're going to be paying for the extra power, but you're also going to be getting better performance. Um, this card's not bad. I mean, if you are seriously on a budget, budget, budget build and you want to get like six of these, I mean, you're going to save close to $700, $800 um, by getting these versus a 1070 Ti. And if you want to mine, you got to start somewhere. Um, but I had this card here and I'm trying to get a thousand subs. So if I get a thousand subs in the next couple videos, I'm going to give this card away. Um, I'm actually going to be pulling it out today and installing a 1070 Ti that I just purchased and making another video. But, so there is probably like 48 hours on this card, um, practically brand new. I will ship it, give it to you, one lucky random winner, if I get a thousand subs here in the next 